the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God. May we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt. For they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this was the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from least to greatest shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, He offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. 
The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was thunder, but others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this, indicating the kind of death he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Here in New England and in other parts of the northeastern United States in southeastern Canada, it's currently sugaring season. This season lasts for about six weeks from late February through mid-April, during which maple trees are tapped for their sap. During this period, known as the sap run, The frozen sap inside the maple tree begins to thaw and move around, causing pressure to build up within the tree. When the pressure within the tree reaches a certain level, the sap will flow out from any new wound or injury on the tree. Farmers and producers collect the crystal clear sap and boil it in an evaporator over a blazing hot fire. Only water is removed and nothing is added. The sap becomes more concentrated until it becomes maple syrup. Maple syrup, which is often paired with pancakes and French toast, is a sort of parable of what it means to love as God loves us. By allowing our self-centeredness to be boiled away, we can transform our lives in the grace and the peace of God. May we have the faith of a grain of wheat which dies to itself to bear fruit in God's harvest of justice and forgiveness. May we also embrace the faith of a spring maple tree, willing to give ourselves for the sake of others as Christ gave himself for us. In doing so, we will allow ourselves to be transformed by the life and love of the risen Christ. And together, we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Confident that God knows our needs and hears our prayers, we bring these petitions before him. For the church throughout the world, that we may receive new life in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of the church, that they may be guided by Christ, who is the resurrection and the life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who mourn the loss of a loved one, that they may be filled with faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are without faith, that the example of the church may give them hope and encouragement, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who have died and gone before us in the faith of Christ, that they may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom. In a special way today, we pray for the repose of the soul of Pauline J. Snyder. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those confined to their homes or nursing facilities, for those who are sick, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts.
For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy, you know our struggles and our pain. Hear the prayers we bring before you this day and give to us the gift of faith. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts, with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. On you stay, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui toles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the blessed sacrament, we offer the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Please bow down for the blessing. Bless, O Lord, your people, who long for the gift of your mercy, and grant that what at your prompting they desire, they may receive by your generous gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.